you think about it, most people have never had sauna on certain parts of their body, you know? And if you start looking at the research, like sun avoidance is the equivalent of cigarette smoking. Hmm. You know, people that avoid the sun have a higher, a higher mortality rate, you know? So we've kind of been sold this goods that, that, you know, our modern life is so different than what, uh, and I'm actually speaking uh, tomorrow at the quantum health. Uh, I don't know when this is going up, but you can, it's on for today and, and tomorrow mm -hmm. quantum biology summit. I'm, what I'm going to talk about a lot is like in the forties and fifties, there were not any obese people. Uh, now we have more people exercising in more gyms than ever. And we've got a record number of people that are obese and sick. And, and the difference is, is that in the forties and the fifties or in our past, our exercise was built into our life. Right. And we spent the majority of our time in, outside. We didn't spend the, you know, people sat out on their, their porch in the evening because, you know, they didn't stay inside in front of a screen all day, you know? Um, and we're, you know, our modern life, we've outsourced everything. We don't, we don't have to grow our own food. We don't have to build our own shelter. That would have been all stuff that you did. Right. And that was part of your natural life. I mean, people forget that we're wired to eat as much as possible and to move as little as possible, because in our past, we had to move a lot to get our food. And then we had to, where there wasn't a lot of calories. So when there was calories, you ate them because you didn't know when you're going to get them next. But our world today is backwards. It's, it's, there's too many calories, too many empty calories, and there's not enough low level activity. And the problem is, is we are basically trying to fix that lack of low level activity with intensity and that usually doesn't 